All right, this is Courtney with CAD Company again, uh, giving you a, a short instruction on one of the quickest ways to set up your rocker arm system. Uh, all our replacement uh, systems that, that we use here at CAD Company are shaft type mounted uh, for strength. Now, there's a lot to be said for getting the, uh, the sweep of the of the rocker arm across the valve tip correct um, and and I know there's been a lot written in magazines and that show that they, you know, they usually show using a magic marker and rotating the engine round and round and see where the marks are and all that stuff well here's here's a way that works a bit quicker for you um, this this is like our stage one setup we take like some either grease or this is Prussian blue put some on the on the tip of the valve. Now our systems generally come with shims and that is to set the, uh, the travel of the, of the rocker arm correctly because what we're dealing with here in, in these older engines uh, a lot of times there's been a lot of machine work done you know there's been uh, decks milled, heads milled, valve jobs where they, the valves were sunk too deep uh, Someone might have cut too much off the tip of the valves, might have the oversized valves and a different different installed height. And then the, the camshaft, uh, some cam manufacturers, you know, have, have cut the, the heel of the cam down a little farther. And that all changes the geometry and, and push rod length. So what I like to do is when you got studs in and you got the Prussian blue on there, I just set with no push rods. I just set the rocker shaft down, and I just hold it down with my hands. You can you can bolt it if you want. And then I take the, the the rocker arm and I tap it, wiggle it around a little bit, see where it, see where it uh, where it hits. Okay. And I can see this is hitting right at the very edge. Okay. I mean it it it's way way up here. Okay. Now, the travel of a rocker arm, it usually starts on this, this side. And as the, the valve starts opening, it, it's, it starts walking to the far side. And then when the valve starts shutting, it walks back to here. So it, it doesn't stay in one place, you know, whether it's a roller rocker or anything. It, it just, it walks across and back, okay? The tip of the arms are arced. Uh, so, kind of like grandma's rocking chair. So, people people wonder, you know, they say, well, it's just scrubbing back and forth on the valve. Well, not really. It's it's uh, it's it's walking back and forth, you know. And if you know, and, and if if there was a problem with something walking back and forth like that, you know, like grandma's rocking chair would have wore a hole through the floor long ago. So, so what we're gonna do to move that pattern closer to the center you add shims so if you want to go closer to the far side you add shims if for some reason we were already in the far side or totally in the middle we would reduce shims so I'm gonna go ahead and add some shims right now Okay, um, I've got shims on it. I'm going to shove it back on there. And like I say, you can hold it with your hand or you can put nuts on it, whatever you'd rather do. And then I'm going to tap it on there, work it around a little bit so it'll make a mark. Okay, you see the mark now? That's where we want it to be. You see? It's right there and walking across probably down to here so that that works then once you got your geometry located on the rocker arm then you put the push rod in okay and you bolt it down this end of the head's already been done that's when you check your, your preload and and the push rod length as you can see 
Of course, you want to make sure that the lifters are down. This one is. And you can see how much it's depressed the plunger from the retaining clip. And I'm going to push on the rocker arm. You'll see it's going to move some more. See, there's still more travel there. So we're kind of in the middle of travel. That is good. If you assemble one and the, the, the plunger is right up against the clip and isn't pushing it down, you'll need longer push rods. Okay? And, and I'd say the minimum of like 40 thousandths down is good. But watch how much travels on, on this, this lifter here. I mean, that, you know, that's, that's a quarter inch or better. So as long as you're, you know, off the clip, you know, say that much, and anywhere in between, you don't want it bottomed, that's for sure. But when you're, when you're done, you can rotate the engine around a little bit and, and make sure all of them are, uh, you know, because your, your lobes are going to come up and down. You can, you can make sure none of them are bat bottom because you can push up and down with a rocker arm. Make sure you still got some travel and make sure you're not up against a retaining clip. Okay. Now, uh, anyway, as you can see here, uh, it's going by the, the old video too. Like say, if you broke something in the valve train, a lifter can jump up out of the hole and you'll dump your oil pressure. Well, I, I hope this has been helpful for you.